Hello my beautiful people. Welcome back to another gorgeous day in the summertime garden. It is warm today. <laughs> uh, I'm excited today. Previously I had purchased some of those Amsterdam pearls like everybody else, but I hadn't really ever been able to make them work. And recently my friend Fiona and Brian Siglarski from Brian's Upper Valley Artistry have been using the pearls beautifully against some more opaque colors. So I bit the bullet and I bought Amsterdam pearl violet again and I bought the pearl blue again. So today we're gonna be playing with those and seeing if I can get them to work how they're supposed to work, how kind of like Fiona does. So exciting stuff. This is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas. I have taped the back, put my push pins in and I have painted my sides and edges with some dioxazine purple because I have a big tub of that. But let me show you the colors. Okay, the first one is pearl violet right here, Amsterdam Pearl, and this is the violet. It does not look very different at all from the pearl blue while they are wet, but while they are dry, that is when the magic supposedly takes place. So we're gonna see if we can't get that to happen today. This is mixed with mix pour. Everything is mixed with mix today. You can get your own mix by emailing Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com beautiful thick lovely consistency so that's mix okay that's the pearl violet here's the pearl blue that's that one and I've actually written on the cups so I don't mix them up <laughs> okay pretty stuff okay then the opaques that we are using we are using this one deco art Americana decor metallics this is deep sapphire beautiful color so so luscious and royal and sparkly and beautiful love this one okay deep sapphire okay this one is Amsterdam is golden's permanent violet dark probably one of my favorite colors in the entire world beautiful rich luscious that's the permanent violet dark what did you do down there and then this last one is our Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Which I haven't used in a while. I've been using that Pevio Studios copper. I missed my gold. <laughs> so that's the 24 karat gold. Okay. So the last pour we just did, Starship, I used this 24 ounce double chamber split cup from Mixed Media Girl. And I really liked the results. So I want to use that again. I want to play with it some more and see what happens with these two Amsterdam pearls. So, to that end, let's see how we want to layer our cup. We're gonna start with some blue, then put the pearl blue, and then maybe some gold, then our permanent violet, and then the violet pearl. Okay, so that's the order. We're gonna go up in this way, and then we're gonna go down the other side the opposite way. Let's start with some of the sapphire, and the pearl blue. of our 24 karat gold. Actually, let me put another layer of the pearl in there. Permanent violet dark. Violet. And blue. Okay, so now this one, we're going to start this side with the permanent violet dark. Now, 
I have a base coat that I'm going to put down. This one is Liquitex Basics Cobalt Blue. Yes, Cobalt Blue. Very pretty color. Okay, and that's much thinner than those paints. So we're gonna put this down real quick. Go over there. Yes, my love. I am ready. Here we go. see <laughs> that's really pretty though in the middle okay let's torch this real fast all right here we go let's tilt this out i kind of love what's happening right there but that's a good thing since that's what's in the center I'm gonna just walk this down the canvas. And see that extra couple of minutes that you spend getting the base coat right will serve you well. Keep your composition intact. You don't really want to lose that blue.
interesting. Not what I had wanted to happen at all, <laughs> but it's kind of neat. Um, what do you think, HOA? Well, not knowing what it is that you wanted to begin with, I think this looks really cool. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure what happened there and there. Where and where? Right here and here. It almost like a fingerprint, but I didn't touch it. Uh, you know, I know what those were. Those were the drips when you pulled your hand away. Really? Yeah, when you like, you pulled your hand and went boom, boom. Um, on one hand, I see all the colors. I like it. I you know, there is sections of that pearl, be it the pearl violet or the pearl blue, I'm not really sure. Um, it's so strange because I kind of, I love this, like I love what's happening in here, but I also don't like it for some reason too. I'm not really crazy about this little bit of pink that we got, but I guess that can't be helped. The thing that irritated me most while I was pouring it, there was a fly right by my ear. And then I stopped and I felt like that Everything started to go south there. That was where those drips came from. When the fly came along? Yeah, and you pulled your hand away. You pulled the... the... I, I think I want to pour it again. Yeah, okay. I have some paint left, so we're going to do that again. I may not fill up the cup all the way this time, but I definitely want to do this again. Okay, so I'm going to start with a little bit of sapphire. Then blue, the pearl blue. Oh, you're cool. Put some violet in there now. Blue violet, we're gonna stop there, so that's about there. Let's start with that. Blue violet. Gold. Sapphire again. Pearl blue. I think I'm gonna put another layer of pearl violet on the other side too, so that we end up on the top. Okay. I mean, this is cool, don't get me wrong. There's just things that I'm not great between that and the pink, and that I'm not happy, so. I'll wipe my hands off so I don't drip in it again. Or drop the cup. Okay. We're going to start in the middle this time. For the record, what I want to make happen is more of this and this. That's really cool. Okay. Okay. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Aye, lass. I am ready. Part. 
样。Okay, this is cool. I like this a lot better. I love that there's all these lines coming in through here where there was a little bit of blending with the gold and the different pearls. I love this like tree formation. This is really cool with these sapphire cells coming up through there. That's from the original pour, but I really liked that part. So I'm glad we managed to keep it. I kind of like this. I love this line that's happening. This is awesome. Okay, now I'm happy. <laughs> Um, so this was really cool. I will show you guys when it's dry. Hopefully we will be able to see some of that pearl violet and the pearl blue. Hopefully, hopefully if we didn't get too much blending and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for being here. We'll be right back. Okay, so this is a few days later and it's dry now. I love how this one came out, it's so pretty. That beautiful permanent violet dark, just popping against the metallic cobalt. This beautiful veining in here. These cells, oh gosh, it's so pretty. Sparkly and shiny, a lot of flow. You see that beautiful gold blinging up there in the corner. Look at these little cells, they're so cute. Really, really pretty. I love all those lines in there. I'm very happy that I poured this one over again. I really like this composition a lot better. There's the little remnant that was left from the first pour. Really, really pretty. Beautiful stuff. So, after I shot this one, I was like, wait a minute, why did I do <laughs> a split cup that blends all the colors together? <laughs> but I do love the way that it came out. I think this is really pretty. In terms of seeing the pearls, I do see some of the pearl blue right in here. It's not a lot, like I said, it did blend because of the split cup that we were using because it was only a two chamber. So what that means is I need to try this again. <laughs> But I do see that beautiful pearl violet popping through there, shimmering and blinging and shifting. Very cool stuff. And I love those cells in the middle and I love those swoops of the permanent violet dark. Totally looks like a mermaid's tail or a couple of mermaids swimming around frolicking. Perhaps mermaids clutching their pearls. <laughs> so that's gonna be the title of this one. Mermaids clutching their Amsterdam pearls. This was a lot of fun. Um, I am going to play with these a little bit more. I hope you guys enjoy the process and, you know, figure a few things out from watching me try things. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. We've got lots more awesome stuff coming up for you guys. Thanks for being here, guys. We'll see you real, real soon. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.